first question was to describe an experiment that could be carried out to show that uh, substrate size affect uh, activity of enzymes. So uh, just a reminder, we have uh, properties of enzymes, the matter, uh, enzymes are proteins, enzymes are special, are specific, enzymes are pH dependent, temperature dependent, so one, two, three, four, so uh, they are catalysts, they speed up with the rate of reaction, so um, their activity depends on the size of the substrate, I mean, uh, substrate size. All these properties here are in the experiment. So one of the experiments is this one. I mean, I would also read it for Rose. Is affected by the size of um, particles. So she made a gap. Um, Sindrema, Kobana Ningo for Rosa. This means my GD gap up. So Tima currently my test tube at that. So I have uh, three test tubes. and we use liver tissue liver tissue is the one which we use and this liver tissue my color my size is my size is the more matter we can to my cube to not to not to not to go so to go to my cube that cool could you see home like it my piece don't know that my piece can I want to think at my piece to not to know Tima cube kuma tati ngono Kutisa in the other test tube Pomo umu, tima yiga mo crash deliver Crash deliver You yes. see? And what we do, tima kutisa nchiro uh, hydrogen peroxide Which is H2O2 This is the hydrogen peroxide Yeah, hydrogen peroxide now, uh, Jimmy Mavangam, um, let me label these uh, test tubes as A, our K test tube B, K test tube C. A more same, to make a more, uh, let's say, 50 cubic centimeters of hydrogen peroxide. But the moment we put this hydrogen peroxide in the test tubes where we have liver tissues, to make the stopwatch, to make the gun how indeed. Then I go to Bangay record time taken. For a Jimmy Majitiga Babanjodi, the moment the Mabanga Adum, Timatruga some form like Tove, Tovio, Imabanga lies Kumakuera, Contunda, Doxa figure, Pamamba Ab. Tove Lija. So uh, this stopwatch is used to record the time taken for the form to reach the top of the uh, or the mouth of the beaker you see so chumari mabanga mga mga hydrogen peroxide in your test tube my sister got a mungozi banga uh zungomila zindu zungo banga sinki pangono or sati mwige panga gondaz so this is your hydrogen peroxide so hydrogen peroxide uja our banga react the enzyme we may need more liver i mean machine over the catalyst Mm, we call that one a catalase. Catalase. So in catalase, I want to facilitate the breaking down of this hydrogen peroxide into uh, water and the oxygen gas. So this oxygen is indicated by the bubbles. Marugas is my bubble. Is my bubbles is I'm going to form this form. Got it off. So is my bubbles. Is my bangalize. I'm going to go figure out my test tube so you have to indicate the time taken for the bubbles to rise to the top of the beaker so let's say good up up that didn't get a win um five minutes let's say good about it's a five minutes could you form with a favor number then you're going to take a hydrogen peroxide uh let's say 50 day mail 50 music muka could transform and the Immediately start your stopwatch and record the time taken for the form to reach the uh, top of your test tube. 
Timozen and you are going to observe good in how we image it out. Let's say good about one hour in the three minutes, thirty seconds. You see, and the uh, you also repeat the same procedures with the crush the liver. Mua, you are going to put the uh, fifty mils. You should move the Can I go record the time taken uh, for the form uh, to reach this top of your test tube? You're gonna see that uh, how you get cheaper. Come Billy, let's say to go like one minute. Uh, 20 seconds now uh, this is a clear indication good uh, this crash deliver here there was a large surface area per volume ratio yeah there was a large surface area per volume ratio as a result enzymes was exposed to this uh, hydrogen peroxide that's why uh, reaction energy is fast and the form we are not going to lie is a majango. Whereas, uh, Zima Kibuz, the Kazinari Zuguru Zuguru, Kumabe, surface area in Arajani, surface area per volume in Ariochepa. As a result, it takes time for the form to rise uh, in Pagagafika, top of your test tube. So that's the thing about uh, this thing. The Kuyanka Wage, the Kamanka, my experiments is like this in biology. No need to indicate what the materials required in this experiment. I Kungwe Mbapo Ababa. So you can just say, uh, add 10 cubic centimeters of hydrogen peroxide in, in three test tubes, labeled A, B, C, respectively. Cut pieces of a liver into large cubes, smaller cubes, and crush some pieces of liver into uh, pieces using a mortar and a pistol. Remember, you're gonna crush this one using a mortar and a pistol. After you have, you have crushed it, um, you are going to set a stopwatch. Move and set a stopwatch. Can I go place large cubes of a liver in a test tube? A, then you start the stopwatch immediately. Record the time taken for the foam produced to rise up and reach the mouth of the test tube. Can I go make a record? You're gonna repeat the same procedures by placing similar pieces of a liver and crush the pieces in a test tube B and C. Can I go? You're gonna observe the time taken for the foam to reach the top of each test tube. Make a mention of Observation and uh, form produced in test tube C, which I'm referring it as uh, this one. Uh, form gem of is faster than all the test tubes. This is because the liver was crushed into very small, pi small fine particles, thus providing a uh, large surface area per volume ratio of hydrogen peroxide. So, enzymes were able to move faster with the smallest particles than the larger particles so conclusion can be the larger the size of the particles the slower the activity of enzymes and the smaller the size of the particles uh, the faster the activity of enzymes so that's the thing about uh, this experiment Another experiment was um, describe how oxygen and carbon dioxide are transported in the blood. So I have so savuda. Let's let's have uh, lungs here. Tindi lungs, and here we have uh, uh, all parts of the body. So we have lungs and the all parts of the body. All parts of the body. So you can start here a bit or go a bit of so in the ambiance. This is what happens. Um oxygen kumalangs with Jagabanga diffuse a gangroa mu bladi gabirale abanga combine with uh, hemoglobin, a protein which is found on the surface of red blood cells, hemoglobin. So it's like oxygen uh oxygen this is um, hemoglobin hemoglobin this thing they form a compound called oxy 
oxy hemoglobin blood yake makaya red ndi tube ndo mwina light red hemoglobin so this hemoglobin hii enda kuchoka ku, ku lungs kupita all parts of the body into body tissues now akafika kuma tissues kucha so let's say kuti these are the tissues uh, these are the tissues those are cells oxy hemoglobin ni janda mine so jika fika kuku oxy hemoglobin ni japa nga break aga banga break it releases oxygen pla uh, ndi chanish hemoglobin that is kuma tissues eh anga fika mene kuku oxygen ni sopa ama banga ni sopa ni diffuse ndi kuluwa kuma tissues hemoglobin ama bwelela ndi kati nga so oxygen wina ndi kuluwa za siya aga za siya aga banga break releasing oxygen hemoglobin ni bwelela so the process continues on and on ima nko piti lila ku that's the first paragraph yu kuzala ndi oxygen ndi muli na kuti uh, in lungs oxygen combine with a protein found on the surface of red blood cells called hemoglobin and forms a compound known as uh, oxy hemoglobin so when this compound reaches the uh, body tissues it breaks into oxygen and the hemoglobin then oxygen diffuses into the tissues whereas hemoglobin goes back to the lungs to collect another oxygen ndo kuti first paragraph matana nayo second paragraph ndo kuti mudzapanga za nkulu ya lapo yo oxygen i mean uh, carbon dioxide so carbon dioxide it's too involving you have to be very careful carbon dioxide um I have been transport in form of carbonic acid. So this is what happens carbon dioxide diffuses from the body tissues as you come body tissues na jambo lavo These are body tissues as you come body tissues ndi kulowa mu blood akalowa mu blood an enzyme called carbonic adhydrase I think in the lembe carbonic anhydrase this is an enzyme which facilitate um, dissolving of carbon dioxide avanga facilitate dissolving of carbon dioxide to form uh thematic carbonic acid which is H2SO3 so uh, carbonic anhydrase facilitate kapena catalyze the dissolving of carbon dioxide to form uh, carbonic acid now uh, this acid uh, dissociate to form hydrogen carbonate ions comes to hydrogen ions ndekuti chichi chimapanga break so chipanga break uh, chipanga release hydrogen ions comes to uh, hydrogen carbonate ions yeah something like that now chika banga dissociate uh, hydrogen carbon ions yo ama joka maledi blood cells and enter into blood plasma and it transported to the lungs that's what happens ndia aga enda uyu yu aga enda ndu kupita kuma lungs uku aga fiko kuku process yi maka chitika anso ndi kuti ama ka patikiza nkulu uyu let me change color tite nka nkulu uyu ndi nkulu uyu ndi kum patikiza ndi kupanga i mean it combines back to uh, carbonic acid now uh kupanga form carbonic acid ndi kuti chizabwelera ntsopa ndi kudzapanga form uh, this carbon dioxide and this carbon dioxide bas abanga diffuse from the lungs into the atmosphere that's what happens so the process goes like a um, carbon carbon dissolving of uh, carbon dioxide to form carbonic acid and the carbonic acid dissociate releasing uh, hydrogen ions and hydrogen carbon ions so this hydrogen carbon ions i end up in the blood plasma in uh, red blood cells and then to blood plasma can i go to kupita kuya kuma lungs and go figure kuma lungs ndi pamena apa ngeli combine forming back carbonic acid after forming carbonic acid process ya tsopano ima bwelera ndo kapanga form um, 
carbon dioxide uyo yeso kuna ndo panga diffuse kama vita so in summary you can just say that uh, carbon dioxide diffuses from the tissues into the blood so an enzyme carbonic acid catalyzes the dissolving of carbon dioxide to form carbonic acid so this carbonic acid dissociates to form hydrogen carbonate ions and hydrogen ions so it is uh, this hydrogen carbonate ions um, which leave the red blood cells and enter into the plasma where they are transported into the lungs when the hydrogen carbonate ions reaches the lungs the reverse reaction takes place as the hydrogen carbonate ions is recovered back to carbon dioxide you see so carbon dioxide from the uh, diffuse from the blood to go to peter go a very membrane kila kuna kumpanga breathe out into the atmosphere so that's the summary about the, how oxygen and the carbon dioxide are transported in the blood yet you can read this into the in your textbooks maga maga excel mutaka welenga zili mundu Hello my guys it mind you if i enjoying this video please don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel as well as liking my facebook page unique online classes malawi